Hello everyone, my name's Dylan. I'm here to talk about the music video I made using Tableau, and the lessons that I've learned along the way, and my discovery of rather unconventional ways that might grab the attention of your audience. So most of us, when doing any sort of data analysis and visualization, would go through these three main steps. We would start off with a data set, obviously, and then we'd analyze and discover the data and we would use some sort of ETL or transformation tool like Alteryx um, to parse the data the way we like it. And then we would create some awesome cool looking charts in Tableau or any sort of visualization software. And from there, we would tell a good story to our audience or to our stakeholder. I essentially had to do all of that, but in the opposite direction. I had a story to tell, which is the lyrics I wanted to convey to my listeners. And then I had to decide what charts would be the best or the, the most suitable to represent that. And from there, I had to use the transformation tool in my head um, to represent the chart into a data set. I wish there was a tool out there which does this. And I would repeat the process for the next line of lyrics. And for those of you who have not seen my video, here's a short preview. So last year I started writing and producing songs and I found that I really enjoyed it. And like any artist out there, I decided to start my own band. I decided to go with the name of Go Miss Tamago. And Tamago in Japanese means egg. And I really love eggs, but that has nothing to do with my music. It was just totally random. I'm what you call a one-man band as I provide vocals, guitar, keyboards, mandolin, and percussions to the band and to the songs that I produce. Like a business, I decided I needed to have achievable goals. My goal was to be noticed and to make a reasonable sum of profit. And also like a business, I decided to make my own targets and KPIs. There's a saying that goes that if you set your targets low enough, you can't be disappointed because you'll most certainly achieve them. And there are studies out there that say that your goals don't have to be high. They just have to be achievable. My targets were $8 in, in uh, music streaming and to have 300 views on YouTube. Easy, right? The results were far from ideal. In fact, it was pretty bad. I made a total of 53 cents in the first month. I wasn't expecting much. Uh, to, to begin with, but I was still disappointed. I got two views from my mom, so thank you, mom. And then I thought, uh, in order to make more profit, I would just have to make more songs, right? Because more songs means faster growth. Boy, was I wrong. In the next five months, my cumulative profit was $1.60 which is equivalent to um, about two thirds of a cup of coffee in Auckland. And I thought, ah, come on, I can do better than that. Then I started brainstorming. I needed a way to make my music noticeable. I needed a way to stand out. In a sea of singers and bands and singer songwriters, how do I differentiate myself from the rest? And if you design dashboards or reports, or even if, if you're a movie maker, how do you make your work stand out? How do you get noticed? How do you grab the attention of people when there are so many of others doing the exact same thing as you? 
A research done in Canada in 2000 showed that the average human attention span was 12 seconds. And in 2013, they repeated the exercise and found that it had dropped by 33%, down to 8 seconds. I had roughly 8 seconds to grab the attention of anyone who listened to my music. I needed something unique, something different, and something never done by anyone before. And then it hit me. And Frederick, in the presentation before, mentioned that this light bulb moment I just had. Um, I could combine the two things that I love the most, music and visualization. I love music, and I really love my charts as well. And I've been using Tableau for a couple of years now, so it was a no-brainer that I got to work. And it initially took me quite some time to get, to, to get going. But I did it, and I executed my first idea. Now, before I go on, I just want to share a quote to sort of prep you for the video you're going to see. Uh, it says that sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something, and I hold dearly to that quote. So the first song I did was called A Twinkle My Star, and it was what you call a karaoke, something you can sing along to. It was meant for kids, or some adults, if you like to twinkle stars, and this is how it goes. And as you could see, it's not what you call an attention drawing video, uh, besides the baby in a starfish blanket, and I don't think that's that's a really a real baby anyway. Um, and this was really presentation 101, don't put too much text on a single slide. In this case, I had all the lyrics on a single page. The same goes when building effective dashboards. Adding too many charts and visuals can make it cluttered and can be confusing for the reader. For the next video I made, I introduced some improvements. Um, I decided to emphasize on words, um, delivering and displaying each word as it's sung. Well, I think that it was slightly more entertaining, and you could see each word had an extra punch to it with a symbol and a shape that came along with it. My brainstorm continued because I felt that a wall of text isn't going to cut it. The next thing I did and thought of was to add a little bit of geeky interactivity to the mix. I thought that a fun way to spice it up was to use Tableau's tooltip and actions as a way to deliver and convey the lyrics. Uh, for those of you new to Tableau, a uh, tooltip is a window which contains extra bits of information when you typically hover your cursor over a chart or a number in a report. And an action is a way of sending information between worksheets and dashboards. So here's a love song I wrote featuring vocals from my mate TY. And it uses tooltips in shapes and a bit of action function at the very end. Enjoy. Promise me a love, don't ever look the other way. Through thick and thin and joy and pain, I will fight. We'll make it right. With eyes as bright as life, I'll make a vow. I'll be your love. 
that I thought. There needs to be a better way to couple my music and Tableau more tightly. Isn't Tableau more than a bunch of coloured text and tooltips? Isn't it about beautiful and colourful charts? But how can I utilise traditional charts and make them relevant for me? Because I had no data and I had nothing to analyse. And then it hit me again. I can be creative with charts in the sense that I don't have to use the charts as it seems. And this is what I mean. Pie charts are used to compare proportions of multiple categories, but it's also usable as a clock um, or a representation of duration or time. Bar charts are used to compare multiple measures or trend uh, a measure over time. Or you could change its color, flip it around, and now you have buildings in an evening on a skyline. And there are many excellent ideas out there as well. Simon Scar's South China Morning Post on Iraq's bloody toll combines the visual effect of dripping blood and the actual trend of, of deaths in Iraq using bar charts. And this further emphasizes on the gravity of the situation. And I came across a Makeover Monday post by Siroros on the Big Mac Index, and she cleverly used this line charts as patties uh, and also as trend lines between burger buns. I find this really cool. And lastly, I saw this dashboard in Tableau Public by Chris Jones. In one part of the dashboard, it shows the frequency of words of songs sung by Imagine Dragons, and this was creativity, creatively designed to look like sound waves. So why not go one step further and build entire scenes in Tableau, like a motorway packed with cars built from a scatter plot and shapes, or a stormy weather and sea with stacked area charts as the sea, or even a sky filled with stars and moon built from a pie chart. To anyone new to Tableau, Pages is a functionality which allows you to show your data one dimension at a time, and it's also the perfect way to make an animation which is what I did. Using the same scenes I made, I added plenty more dimensions to serve as pages. Each page corresponded to a slightly different measure. For example, using multiple pages, I could animate the movement of cars along the highway. And also using the same technique, I could animate the moving of waves in, waves in the sea, and also with the sun rising and setting. So I was literally drawing my scenes using numbers and thousands and thousands of rows of pages. The next step was to integrate all the animated visuals with the rhythm and beat. There's a strong correlation between music and our memories. Research has shown that music helps us memorize things, and it really enhances the way we convey our messages to our audience. According to Dr. Rodiger in a Wall Street Journal article, the hippocampus and the frontal cortex are two areas in the brain associated with memory, and they process millions of pieces of information every day. Getting information in there is easy, but the difficult part is pulling the data out efficiently. So music, he says, provides rhythm and rhyme, and all that structure is key to unlocking information stored in our brain with music acting as a cue. And that's why good ads have catchy little jingles behind them. So why not include them in our presentations? A friend of mine gave me a brilliant idea. Why not match each movement of the animation that I make to a beat or to a rhythm? And I thought that was an excellent idea. And here's an example I did which shows exactly that. So the first part is a line chart, which corresponds to the kick and snare of a drum kit, and you can see the rise and fall of, uh, of the line chart. And then the tom comes in, each beat represented by a change in the bar chart's measure and colour. And finally, the hi-hat kicks in, represented by two alternating shapes and colours. You can see how even the simplest of charts, when combined with a simple beat, can be so much more captivating 
compared to if they were both independent of each other. And here's something I've been working on which combines it all. Having all those in mind, I had to put everything together in my music video. I had just finished writing a song called The Worker's Lament, and it's about having a bad day at work. I think it's something we all can relate to every once in a while, or maybe every day if you have a bad job. I challenged myself to interpret each line of my song into a series of visuals. And here's some examples of some lines of lyrics and how I translated that into a series of animated charts and, and visuals. For the line, the colors disappear and you are sinking beneath, I used an area chart to represent a sinking feeling. The blue area chart can look like water, with the fading color to match the lyrics. Each decline in the area corresponds to the beat of the rhythm, and the lyrics itself is placed on the horizontal and the vertical reference line. And how about the line you want to leave and just go home? A waffle chart of many people surrounding you, and you, colored in red, moving towards the direction of a home on the right-hand side. Of course, each movement follows the beat of the music. And for the line, who cares, who really needs to get paid? An animated line chart trending downwards to represent your declining salary. And for the chorus line, just go home, I decided to go for just the three words appearing as it's sung giving that in-your-face moment kinda as a reminder for what the chorus and the title of the song is. And I was totally random with Pada Papa, chucking it into various charts like word clouds, bubble chart, and bar charts. Lessons learned. My knowledge of Tableau went up exponentially. I can now do formatting in Tableau with my eyes closed. And formatting lines and colors, modifying axis lines became second nature to me, further helping me in building my dashboards faster in my job. I've learned to build new charts I would not build in my working life, such as the Sankey chart or even the bubble chart. My experience in music production and video editing, particularly in GarageBand to record and arrange music and iMovie to edit and produce all of my videos, Oh, went up drastically. And I've learned that doing the unexpected and being different does gain attention. I don't really know where this will take me, but I do have Alex to thank for discovering and sharing my, my music video. And maybe one day, just one day, I'll be a Grammy winner. Just as Tableau tweeted. And by the way, my gross profit went up drastically after I released my music video. I am now at $5, and at this rate, I'll hit, my, I'll hit my target within the next few months, and I'm totally stoked about that. I can now buy a full-sized cup of coffee. In fact, I can buy a medium-sized cup of coffee. But if you would like to help me achieve my dreams even quicker, Please follow me or listen to me on Spotify and on YouTube. I'm also on Apple Music and Amazon Music. Thank you all for watching and listening. Don't go home just yet, there's more after this. See ya!